firmware. Updating it regularly can enhance your network device performance and work out identified kinks and bugs in functionality that can ensure your Cisco product is firing on 100. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll demonstrate how to update the firmware on WAP 125. Next. First things first, we need to locate the firmware files to get this ball rolling. Firmware files can be downloaded directly through the TFTP server to our WAP 125 device or via the HTTP or HTTPS. Before starting the upgrade process though, we'll need to make sure we have downloaded the latest firmware corresponding with our device from the Cisco website. To do so, we'll log into the web-based utility of the WAP and select administration. There we'll click, you guessed it, firmware. From here, we'll choose our download method. To give you a sense of how each method shakes out, we'll demonstrate both. First up is HTTP or HTTPS. Once downloaded, we'll click browse to obtain the file for upgrading. The file must be a .tar file. Clicking upgrade will apply the new firmware. A progress bar will appear and let us know that uploading the new firmware may take several minutes. Once the firmware has been uploaded to the WAP, the device will reboot. Once the WAP has rebooted, we'll log back into the web-based utility and choose Administration. Under Firmware, we'll be able to verify the new firmware version. All right, round two. Let's talk upgrading the TFTP server. Under the download method in administration firmware, we'll choose, naturally, TFTP. We will then enter the name of the source file. Similar to that first method, we should see a .tar file. In the TFTP server IPv4 address field, we'll enter the IP address of the TFTP server where the firmware is located. So make sure you have that handy. We'll then click Upgrade. Again, a progress bar will appear above the Upgrade button. Once the firmware has been uploaded to the WAP, the device will reboot. We'll log back into the web-based utility and choose Firmware under Administration. The active firmware version should now show the latest firmware. And that's all there is to upgrading firmware on your WAP 125. It's so easy, it's almost like it gives you virtually no excuse not to keep your firmware upgraded, right? Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.